Alright, so we've got the bottom half of the fan shroud. Uh, made the top half yesterday, modified it, still roughed in. That'd be hard to tell. It's got just a little bit of a raised underneath you can tell how much I added to it. And uh, how I did that, pull it out of the garbage here. I just took a piece of copper wire and uh, put it on there, taped it on, then laid tape, made a backing for it, laid the fiberglass and the matting on it. We're going to make a ledge. It'll be a two-piece, just like on, say, the 80s and 90 model, where they bolt together. I'm going to turn it into a two-piece shroud. Originally, it was uh, for a 70 model. And, of course, now we're running a Newer model setup it's gonna be pretty close and be all all tied up, nice factory looking. So that's where we're at right there. All I did was lay the temple down so it wouldn't stick, take the back side so it wouldn't run through the back, and simply ground it, cleaned it, started applying the uh, the fiberglass and the resin, and just built it up. Well, I got it to about what I think is roughly about an eighth of an inch and we'll sit back and let it dry and uh, do the same to the uh, other one, other piece and see how it turns out. Should work good. So it's been a little while and we've peeled the part off and tinfoil left a, just a nice smooth surface. You'll see that uh, it's hard to hold it and point at the same time. See this line that's in it around through here, this outline? Actually, drew that on the tinfoil with a Sharpie marker. And then when I was laying the fiberglass earlier, it leaves that impression in the, uh, in the fiberglass resin. So then I can just go back with a saw or a cutoff wheel or whatever cut that out and uh, then we'll mock up our next one. So here we go, this is a top path we're working on now. And there's a tin foil laid down. Just got a glass and a resin laid out. And then over here. See the bottom one, mount it in. We'll just simply put the top one on, drill a couple of holes, probably one right here, here, and around here, spaced out evenly. Mount it to the top, and it'll be done. So this is it, the final rough end of it. We'll come back, radius around these edges, so all these washers go down nice and flat. There that is, two pieces. Remember, this is not a show car, it's a daily driver. So, see the hump? Went back in, I panel bonded this piece of steel. Gives it a little bit of rigidity, and you won't be able to get your fingers in the pan. Passenger side shaped a little bit different, so we only use two bolts fasteners on this side and next video should be finished out and painted uh, we used all resin by USC my sock part number 58220 and panel bond 3M85, uh, what is that? 08115, 3M panel box. So here's the final product mounted and painted. Turned out really good for a daily driver. Still got the front covered up. Radiator. O 
bolts for the factory two tabs up top. And then down here on the bottom, I don't know if you can barely see them. Is there's not any light right around that area. No, actually, it's that. There. The bottom two bolts that holds it on. And that ought to work. That's how we did it.